Hey YouTube, iPod Touch for Life, 165 here. And uh, today I'm going to show you how you can get a vibration on your keyboard. So whenever you type with the keys on any type of keyboard or keypad on your device, on your iPhone, you'll be able to feel a vibration as you type on the keys. Now you won't be able to do this on the iPod Touch. Uh, this is because it does not have any vibration functionality, which is why it's limited to the iPhone only. Now the first thing we want to do is open up Cydia. Then as usual, we're going to wait for Cydia to load up so we can start to use it. Once Cydia is fully loaded up, we are going to click Manage and click on Sources. Now for this application, we are going to need to add a new source. We do this by tapping Edit and clicking Add and typing in the source that we need using the keyboard. Once you've typed it in, you click Done in the top right. Now the source we're going to need to add is the XLE source. Many of you might already have it. This is http colon forward slash forward slash Cydia dot x s e l l i z e dot com forward slash. Every digit of the source is crucial to be typed correctly. And once you have the XLE source added, we can proceed to the next step. Then we're going to click on the newly added source, and we are going to skip down to the K's. Once we're there, we're going to scroll down until we see the package we want, and this is Key Vibrate. We're going to click on it, and click Install in the top right hand corner, and again we're going to click Confirm. Then Cydia will install the application for us, and when done, we'll reload sources. Once we see the message saying Return to Cydia, we can click on that and click the home button. Now we need to reboot our device. We do this by holding down on the power button on the top and the home button on the bottom for around 10 seconds. Once we see the Apple logo, we can put our device down and wait for it to boot up. Once the device boots up, the vibration for typing will be available at every stage of the phone. This includes number pads, spotlight searching, and entering passcodes of various kinds. So that's it. Now you can enjoy the vibration feature that Blackberries and Android devices have as default. One thing that should be noted is in order to remove this tweak of vibration, you will need to install a separate package, and this is right underneath the one we installed previously, and as you can see, it's self-explanatorily called Key Vibrate Uninstaller. What you do is install this package, and the tweak will be removed. And you reboot your phone, and after the tweak should be deactivated, you can uninstall both of these packages to remove them off the list of installed packages. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to go to my channel and check out all of the other videos on iPhone and iPod Touch tweaks, theming, and jailbreaking I have available to you. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a comment down below. And as a bonus question, I want to ask my viewers whether they prefer the Blackberry Android devices or the iPhone OS systems. So leave a comment down below on what your opinion is on that. And as a second opinion question, I want to know what you think of this new editing style video that I did today. It's kind of like a faster paced video where there's less intervals where nothing's happening. So uh, please leave a comment on how you like that as well. Uh, to appreciate the efforts I made for this video, uh, if you could leave a like, that'd be great as well. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you for watching. I will see you next time.